Season one was great, but season two is absolutely out of this world. Castle and Castle season two this time is super exciting. We delve into the personal lives of our characters this season. Developing Castle and Castle season two was quite a challenge. Um, needing to find out where are we taking our characters and what are going to happen to them this season. What's happening with our leading couple, Remy and Tega Castle, and what happens to them in season two is for our audiences to find out. Is it me you want? Your status. Season one was all about Remy trying to find herself. She was always being caught between her dad and her husband. But this season sees her differently, sees her being more independent. She's separated from Tega, so of course she's finding herself, finding her own voice and her own power. Henceforth, this firm will now be known as Castle and Associates. She's having a bit of fun, which I love. Um, as an actor, that's what you, you live for. Are you all right? Why wouldn't I be? I love this season. Um, a chance to be, uh, to, real, to, to, to have some kind of glimpse into what I would have been like as a lecturer or as a professor in, in, in a university campus. Uh, having a chance to work there. Uh, for me, it's it's special, really, really special because going back to Unilag is like homecoming for me, all right? I mean, I was there, I graduated from that same law department in 2004, and coming back 17 years later as a lecturer, a fake one, I'll be it, <laughs> you know, um, did give me some kind of kick. Mr. Castle. So I, I sort of enjoyed uh, playing um, lecturer to uh, students in, in, in season two. My my character is the is the annoying father of uh, Remy Castle, who last season uh, was all over the place and irritating everyone. Oh, no, Daddy! Don't you dare! What is the truth? You did this, not me! Uh, Duke is something else. Benjamin is always evolving. He's still trying to figure out who he is. He's still trying to, like, um, heal from his past mistakes and just kind of make the right choices and, and, you know, become his own person and his own man. You'll find that, you know, in this season, he's um, conflicted between what he wants to do or what he's expected to do. So he has a bit of a crisis of identity. First you stand me up, then you beg for another charge, which I stupidly agreed to. Now you walk in here 45 minutes late, smelling of weed. Are you serious at all? So this season, you really see my character grow as a young lawyer. Um, fresh out of grad school. Her journey is very interesting because um, you get to see her basically from the ground up and work her way up through the firm. I play the role of Stella in this fantastic series. Uh, Stella is she's a bright ball of energy. She is the office manager um, that has all the gossip and all the gist about everything that's going on. You have to leave your job. You said what? <laughs> I mean, I beg your pardon. Our brother can't get married to a receptionist. Oh. Will she find love this season? Will she not? You have to stay tuned to find out. Mr. Monday is um, the office clerk. You know, he's like the office manager in a law firm. Talk about um, case precedents. Mr. Monday is the one to, to call upon. He knows everything about law, but he's not a lawyer. Um, now, remember, just as we discussed, mm. and um, keep it brief. What's Mr. Monty? Mm. You sure we're not going to get into trouble for this thing that we are doing? See, a judge is not dressed like this now. Oh, eh? but KK would never know what a real judge looks like. This season of Castle and Castle is quite exciting because you see the characters, um, let me, let me not talk about the other characters, I'll talk about my character, taking um, more of an emotional journey um, than we're used to. You know, Neka is normally fighting the good fight and sort of 
winning cases for other people and sort of neglecting her home life and that catches up with her this season uh, where she has to start thinking about putting herself first. So that is really Neka's journey and there's a little bit of, um, should I say, romantic conflict that happens. I'm not sure how much I'm allowed to say, but yeah, it should be an exciting journey for, for Neka this season and I'm excited for you guys to experience it. Kwabna is the and right there in the middle. He brings everything together. He's this fun uh, guy who may or may not have uh, scruples. He can be a bit of a jerk. Um, and I think that he genuinely feels like he's found a family in Castle and Castle, the firm. Nikke is on her usual bad behavior. <laughs> if you watch season one, you know that. Nikke is it's a little naughty. Um, and in season two, she takes it up, she takes it up a notch. For my character, Mike, we have more, um, more, <laughs> the character experiences more challenges and uh, the conflicts are higher and greater for him. He has more dealings with uh, the folks at Castle and Castle uh, legal firm and um, he has some altercations you want to watch to find out. I don't want to let uh, a lot out of the bag. Now, um, Silverbello is Otumba's right hand man. Um, he's cocky, arrogant and very ambitious. Um, our crew and cast are absolutely some of the top in Nigeria. We've been very, very fortunate to get all our lead cast back onto the series. So yeah, everyone's kind of brought to their best, their A game to, to this season, from the writers to, I mean, the producers, the directors, um, the actors, the crew. You know, we've stepped it up. We're in an exciting new office space this time that we completely renovated from from literally almost nothing, um, just the bones, and we took out everything and built an amazing new office which looks absolutely gorgeous. Now, this entire new set was designed by our architects, CCP. Art direction was by Jumoke, she's absolutely incredible. Then the furniture was supplied by Office Designs. And the kitchen, because um, they have a kitchen where sort of they hang out and have coffee and sort of you know, catch up with each other, um, was designed by Kitchen and Accessories. You know, we had really great sponsors and support, you know, this season. And I mean, it hasn't been easy, especially with the COVID-19 pandemic happening at, you know, happening at the moment. This has been about with the constant testing, um, the health checks, the temperature checks washing your hands and sanitizing your hands if you do i mean of course if if you try and abide by those rules then it's possible to to get through a production um, with people leaving healthy and happy um, we developed castle and castle season two over several months with a wonderful team of writers um, both uh, South African and Nigerian which gives it a really global flavor so we look forward to bringing you that um, on the directorial team this season we have Kayade Kasim as well as Walter Banger also known as Walter Taylor and it was amazing to work with these two one veteran director one relatively new and young up coming but very talented director in the Nigerian space. This is a very difficult thing to do, that's all I'm saying. And it's going to take us time unless we can try and possibly maneuver the actors a little bit. Um, working with the producers, working with Timmy Dayo and um, Heidi with the supervising producers, Quinty, has been fun. And it's more of working together as a unit and just having the same ideas on hand, me explaining how I want to creatively interpret some of the words and actions that were put in the script. I'm used to, you know, doing everything myself or I'm used to being a producer and a director. But this one, you know, the, the production has made my life so much easier. I mean, I think I'm getting used to this director for higher gig. I've worked with Timmy Dio, uh, the producer, um, on other Ebony Life projects. And she has a knack for putting together a cutthroat team. A special shout out to season two, Timmy Dio Abudu, who produced season one, and again produced season two from us portion of it all the way from the UK as well. She was both in Nigeria and in the UK, but still managed to keep the ship 
afloat and then Isio Mosaji who made sure that our, we make our days every single day and that we don't drop scenes and that all the actors are where they're supposed to be as our first AD. Aidi, he's filmed with us in, on so many projects, so many feature films and he did us proud again, bringing the cameras, bringing the motion, uh, a crew that worked 24-7, um, Ismail on lighting, an old familiar favorite. Our sound team came all the way from Kaduna under the leadership of Solomon. Um, the most silent team, um, making no noise on set but recording every bit of sound we needed. So all in all, a world-class um, team of professionals who had helped bring uh, the series to life for us all the way from Nigeria. I'm energized when I see young people doing the thing and every department is pulling together to make sure that this, this turns out to be a real blockbuster, as it should be. We have such a, a wide array of talented actors who are dedicated, always on time, always pushing this despite the ups and the downs, despite being tired sometimes. To our directors, Walt Banger. To our director, Kayode, you know, you did an incredible job. To our producers, Temidayo Isioma, Heidi, Quinty, what can I say? To our cast, to everyone, to Wardrobe, Yolanda, you know, Emily, production manager, you know, you guys just did, 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 did so, so well. And in um, every case, they have been uh, industry pace setter by the way they treat their, their talents, by the way they treat their cast and crew. I have a lot of respect for them. Now, it, go, breaking it down to persons, I, uh, Mo has been a wonderful person. Madam Mo Abudu, the formidable one. She is amazing. I love her spirit of excellence in everything that she does. And it permeates through all her productions. And this Castle and Castle season two is no less. She is so involved in every aspect of what we do in our shows. And of course, Castle and Castle can't be possible without the amazing visionary that is Moa Budu, who had created the series originally um, with myself. We are so proud of it. Um, it's going to be out. Make sure you go and see it on Netflix. It's six episodes. It's crazy, massive, massive plot twist. I don't think you're even going to believe where this story goes. Make sure you don't miss it because it promises to be a bumpy ride. It is coming with such a big force of entertainment. This one is going to be amazing. You don't want to miss it. Make sure you tune in to your favorite legal series. I want you to go out there and watch Castle on Castle season two. You will be excited. Spare some time and watch Castle and Castle season two on Netflix. Don't forget to tune in and watch Castle and Castle season two. You can also catch up on Castle and Castle season one, streaming and exclusive to Netflix.